Hey, DOT community, this is Alon, and I'm super excited to tell you that even though I stayed up super late last night and was almost passing out at the very end of the uh, of my grind, I did get Thorhild, and Thorhild has amazing skills. I'm actually extremely excited to be able to use her, and I'm actually will show you the skills at the closing of the video. Ah, what hype, right? So you're going to have to stick around here for just for a little bit. It won't be a very long video, but I do want to go over the new 1.28 uh, improvements and things that are changing in the game, which is also extremely exciting as well. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, I can read this a lot. I'm not blind, but I want to give my opinion about some of these things just as, as I go through them. So, yes, I am going to go through them really quickly. Um, but I do like how they say that infiltrators, berserkers would sometimes exit their charge state before attacking, which means they would just run up and stand there. A lot of people. People would always complain about this, um, and also I've seen it as well with my Loki. Uh, it should no longer occur, which is awesome, amazing. Infiltrators, Berserkers would frequently not deal the intended three times charge damage when charging. This uh, this should now always deal three times uh, damage when charging, which is awesome as well, making for Infiltrators and Berserkers to become even more usable again. Awesome. Uh, starting at level 11, Imperials will start gaining armor. They will now have 80% armor after level 18, which is pretty awesome as well now that Imperials are getting this push to getting back into the swing of being used, uh, especially on defense as well, because I know a lot of people were going with the Spearmen for a while, so maybe you might want to switch up and maybe use some Imperials on defense as well, uh, depending on what your setup and best Titans are. Starting from level 14, health of Goliath increased between 7% 7, 7 to 50%. Level 20 onwards, Goliath will have an additional... That topped out uh, plus 50 percent health which is awesome uh now i don't know if this is actually going to make everybody use goliaths again um but because i know it's still all about their you know how fast they are but when it comes down to them uh, being a tank and lasting longer on the battlefield uh, that should definitely help that so we'll see if this does push things uh, a little bit better for the goliaths uh, of course, with the Imperials and the Goliaths uh, changes, I would like to know, especially with those troops, leave your comments below if, you, if you're going to use them anymore or if this makes any, uh, any of your Titans that you weren't using more viable. Um, please, it, it only helps uh, the community out in general and also the developers when they read these comments. Uh, enemy Mossmane, Berserkers, and Militia have a higher target priority for Goliaths. Now, this is the whole... Um, changing up of actual which, which way um, all the uh, troops and titans are going to be uh, uh, dealing with the troops on the battlefield, which is awesome. Now battles are going to be changing up because of these last two things. So with that being a higher t t a target priority for the Goliaths, they're not going to go over, go, they're not going to go for Storm Maidens, uh, especially because Storm Maidens just destroy Goliaths. And since that was their, their main priority before, um, they just basically walked to their deaths. So now they're actually going to be going for um, the uh, any Mimas main berserkers and militia instead. Um, again, I don't know if that's going to really continue to keep them uh, out of just getting destroyed. If it's just a like a one-on-one -on -one situation, uh, but again, we'll see how it works in these next few weeks. Rangers and range troops used to stay idle by default. That's very true. Um, <laughs> I use plenty of rangers, and they always just stand there. Uh, they're with no enemies within attack range now they're gonna go and seek out new enemies by default So I'm very interested to see how that happens and how that works because of course now instead of having just all your ranged units Just sitting at the back doing nothing um, After their first initial like is a lot of times people have them attack You know grenadiers or archers, you know They're attacking the close units and then they just chill there while the rest of the units go off and kill whoever else is out there well now your ranged units are actually going to be moving. So it's, uh, yeah, definitely going to be interested in seeing how that changes. So, somebody in the defense, we went over this, went over this before, but um, definitely uh, seeing the summoning spells pop up a lot faster and separately from the actual uh, spells on defense. So, yes. Uh, but also, they did say something about the UI changes, of course, that's about the little shield and flame that comes and shows if your kingdom is under attack or shielded. So, 
pretty neat. But this is the, the event that's going on right now, Call to Arms. It, it's a throwback to an old event that we used to have quite frequently in uh, 2017, actually, which is uh, reducing the training time of your troops to 30 seconds for all of them. Uh, so, yes, and this is going on for the next two and a half days. So, But I, I believe an, another event will drop tomorrow. This Call to Arms will just run in the background while while other events are happening. So this is kind of, I believe, a ramp up to the um, event dropping on Thursday. So, but uh, I do believe another event will drop tomorrow. And now, do I know what it is? Uh, no, unfortunately not, but definitely excited to see what happens. Um, let me know what you would like tomorrow's event to be in the comments below. Now let's take a quick peek at my Thorhild, like I promised, thank you for waiting till the end of the video. Make sure you slash a like, because it always gives me a boost and helps me out to make sure my videos get watched by as many people as possible, because I enjoy making them. Alright, so here we go. Thorhild, I already checked out the skills myself, but I know she is absolutely amazing. Guess what? I got no damage to Titans. What? I got armor piercing, damage, critical as... I got critical as one of the second skills, and then armor piercing and damage as... A, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Just amazing. Very excited. Finally have a, a, a lightning berserker that actually has a good skill set and that I'm not going to be too concerned about having to... Oh man, I still... This one could be a little bit better. No, I'm going to be running with this Thorhild. Um, so I'm very excited that I was able to get her in this event. Definitely the grind was worth it for me. Let me know if the grind was worth it for you on Thorhild in the comments below as well. All right. Awesome. Thank you for tuning in, DOT community. I will be back again soon with another video or live stream, depending on what tomorrow's event actually is. All right, DOT community. I will talk to you all again very soon.